Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel All About Electronics. So in this question, we have been given that the carrier frequency for certain VSB signal is equal to 20 kilohertz, and we have been also given that the bandwidth of the baseband signal is equal to 6 kilohertz. So here we have been given the frequency response of the VSB shaping filter, and using this VSB shaping filter, some VSB signal is generated. So we have been asked to find the required output filter at the receiver end such that at the receiver we can recover the message signal without any kind of distortion. And here we have been given these four options. So we know that in the vestigial sideband modulation at the transmitter the message signal is multiplied with the carrier signal and then after it is passed through the VSB shaping filter. And this is the frequency response of the VSB shaping filter. And on the main channel, we have seen that using the synchronous demodulation, it is possible to recover the message signal from this VSB signal. So at the receiver, if this VSB signal is multiplied with the carrier signal and then it is passed through the low pass filter, then it is possible to recover the message signal. So here, let's say the response of this low pass filter is equal to H of F. So after the multiplication, if we see the signal, then it is equal to m of f times this hi of f minus fc plus hi of f plus fc. And once this signal is passed through the low pass filter, then in the frequency response, it will get multiplied with the h of f. So if we want to recover the message signal, then this term should be equal to 1, so that at the receiver, we can recover the message signal. That means the frequency response of this h of f should be equal to 1 divided by this hi of f minus fc plus hi of f plus fc. Or in other words, if b is the bandwidth of the message signal, then after the low pass filter, in the range of plus minus b, we should get the flat response. So here, first of all, let us find out this hi of f minus fc plus hi of f plus fc. So in this hi of f minus fc, the entire spectrum will get shifted by 20 kilohertz. That means in this case, this spectrum will get shifted to minus 6 kilohertz to 2 kilohertz. Similarly, this spectrum will get shifted by 20 kilohertz. Similarly, in case of this hi of f plus fc, this entire spectrum will get shifted by minus 20 kilohertz. That means this spectrum will come in between minus 2 kilohertz to 6 kilohertz, while this spectrum will move towards the minus 46 kilohertz. So this will be the spectrum of this hi of f minus fc plus hi of f plus fc. And once this spectrum is passed through the low pass filter, then these higher frequency terms will get eliminated. So in this frequency response, if you see, then from minus 2 kilohertz to plus 2 kilohertz, we have a linear slope. So when these two slopes get added, then we will get the flat region. That means from minus 2 kilohertz to plus 2 kilohertz, we will get a flat region of 0.5. And once again, from 2 kilohertz to 6 kilohertz, we will have a flat response. So this is the frequency response of this hi of f minus fc plus hi of f plus fc times h of f. And we will get such response whenever this h of f is perfectly flat from minus 6 kilohertz to plus 6 kilohertz. That means here, if this h of f is perfectly flat from minus 6 kilohertz to plus 6 kilohertz, then after the multiplication, we will not get the flat response. So as I said earlier, this h of f should be such that after the multiplication, we should get the perfectly flat response. And for that, this h of f should be equal to 1 divided by this hi of f minus fc plus hi of f plus fc. So in this case, in the range of minus 2 kilohertz to plus 2 kilohertz, the value of h of f should be equal to 2. So that whenever we multiply these two response, then we will get the perfectly flat response. And if that is the case, then it is possible to recover the message signal without any kind of distortion. So from this we can say that the response of the output filter should look like this. And therefore, for the given question, this C is the correct answer.